I'm Captain Robert Andrushko, a member of the Argyle and Southern Highlanders. I am Nathan's former company commander and civilian employer. I stand here with Victor, Nathan's stepfather. The family has asked me to deliver the following statement. On behalf of our family, we want to say thank you to the entire nation. On October 22nd, we lost a son, a brother, a father, a friend, and a national hero. We are not only mourning as a family, but also a country. When we lost Nathan, we all mourned as one. There are no words to express the sadness that has fallen upon us all. We take comfort knowing Nathan has done our country proud. The support of the nation in this devastating time provides a measure of comfort and helps make this almost bearable. We especially want to thank the Argyles and the entire Canadian forces for their unconditional show of support. They have gone above and beyond all expectations. The police, firefighters, EMS have been wonderful and have lived up to Canadians' expectations to make this difficult time as easy as possible. I would also like to thank all organizations that have provided special assistance to us, including WestJet and Delta Hotels. A special thank you to the wonderful Canadians that came to Nathan's aid in his time of need. Also, we want to convey how deeply moved we are by all Canadian citizens and free nations with the outpouring of sympathy and incredible tributes for Nathan. Nathan loved the Army. He had a strong and unwavering devotion to duty. He understood what it meant to sustain freedom. He was fearless. Nathan would have done his duty even if he knew this tragedy was coming. Nathan was Canada's son. He belonged to all of us. We've always thought we lived in the best country in the world. The people just proved it.